Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on something I have noticed with Spotify. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed in the last, I guess I've noticed it in the last three weeks and I didn't know if it was just something I was seeing or, or I was going crazy or whatnot, but I have later found out I'm not going crazy and I'm happy to fix it and I want to show you guys what I am seeing and what I'm hearing. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but if you are, I hope you watch this video if this helps you out. So if you see right here, we have my volume mixer. Now if we play Spotify music, you can see we're only playing at half, um, which it sounds good when you're just playing it, listening to it, whatever. But then when you go to switch from Spotify to iTunes, which I have music in both places, you can see a difference. So that was me playing Spotify, and you see that this is only a half. Well, if we go over to the iTunes version, I'm hitting max peak right now. So that means Spotify has lowered the loudness level on all music. So if you're in the backyard, having a having a let's just say you're having a barbecue you're you're playing music from Spotify because you don't know what everyone listens to you're just putting it on a playlist that's general for everybody and you start playing it well you're gonna realize that like you're gonna have your speakers at 20 instead of 10 because you're playing it through Spotify and not iTunes well with Spotify's update in the last I think it was like three weeks ago I three weeks ago they had an update that changed all this well they lowered the decibel reading by so much I think it was negative 14 they lowered it by negative 14 exactly I will I will put the link in the description below of this website I found that helped me problem shoot the problem also with this right here this is step by step this is also in the this is also in the website for Macs and for PCs as you can see here um, but I'll, I'm just gonna go through this and how I did it so if you want to come to your file so you'll come here right and um, so then you want to highlight this which will be in the description you want to highlight this. This will be in the description below. And this is my user account for my Spotify. So you'll come in here. And then under Preferences, you're going to click on this. It's going to ask you what you want to open it up into. I open it up in Notepad. And it, you're, going to put, you're going to type this in there. Audio normalize V2 equals true. Now true, and I don't, this might not be in yours but type it in there and what true does true enables volume normalization which that's why we were seeing down here at it 50 percent and that's what spotify and the new update has put in there is for it to normalize right here now if you don't like that which i don't like that i listen to music all the time i'm always downloading music i'm always trying to find new music I don't like that. I want if I switch from Spotify to iTunes, I do not want to change my volume on my speakers all the time. I don't want to raise it 10 or lower it 10 or go from half to full. So what you do is you're going to come in here and you're going to type in false to disable the minimization. So then what you're going to do, is then you're going to save it. And I have Spotify open right now if you can see. So then I'm going to close Spotify. And then I'm going to come over here, and, and if you notice, this all changed. just keeps you um, loaded, the track's all loaded where you were previously listening. Now, after I changed it to false, it should, um, it should work. I had to do this a couple times just to make sure it worked, but here we go for, this, for the sample. So here's I'm the one by I'm the one. So if you've noticed... See, I just went back up to full peak for this song. 
Now if we pause that on Spotify and go to iTunes and do the same song, you're going to see we're hitting the same, we're sitting the same peak level for loudness, which for me or anybody else watching this video, that's great because if I go from iTunes to Spotify, as I've just told you, you're going to notice a difference. And with that being said, I hope this helps you fix your problems. Oh, and also I have um, in here, in this, it's all, as I said, it's also for Macs. I, I don't know how to do it for Macs. I bet you it's, from reading all this, it should be the same. So I hope to go, I hope the, I hope this video helps you um, fix this problem if you're having this problem. All right, I'll see you later.